Pictured here are a population of alligators at Lake Griffin, Florida, who were described as mindless shells incapable of controlling their own bodies. This strange phenomenon was first documented in the late 1990s, when the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission were conducting alligator surveys at the lake. It was during these surveys that they found several mature and sub-adult American alligators belly up in the water. One fisherman of Lake Griffin stated that there would be times where people could go out onto the lake and find 10 dead alligators in half a mile. The most interesting detail was not only were the number of dead alligators alarming, their carcasses showed no immediate signs for cause of death. At this stage in an alligator's life, little is going to be able to kill them besides another alligator or humans. Therefore, as no physical injuries were present on these alligators, it was evident to many that a serious ecological problem was to blame. In addition to these dead alligators, the ones that were found alive in the lake were not showing normal behaviors. Some live Lake Griffin alligators were observed to be lethargic and unresponsive to approach by humans, as they were showing symptoms like uncoordinated movements, apathy, and problems when diving. Often, the only sign that these alligators were alive was based on sporadic twitching. Not only was this mysterious problem affecting the current population, it was also affecting the unborn. While Lake Griffin historically was not known for high hatch rates, as only 50% of eggs would hatch, these newer clutches were below 10% with one source saying, only 4% of the eggs hatched and most embryos died during the first five days of incubation. From the years of 1998 to 2002, a total of 423 alligators were found dead in the lake. With no other predators in the lake being affected, a serious investigation was started to answer the question of why alligators in particular were falling victim to this deadly phenomenon. When you're trying to research crocodilians, sometimes getting the support to study them can be a challenge. 